So hey guys, Caleb here at KB Productions, and for today's video, well, the third video of today, actually, <laughs> I, uh, I got my stuff in the mail. I have some stuff I ordered from BrickTactical.com. Finally came in. Um, it finally came in. So, yeah, uh, well, we will, let's just go ahead and get this open. I ordered a bunch of stuff from them, so I will dump all of that out right there. Uh, that didn't fall. There we go. Alright, so boom. Here's a pile of stuff. I actually should probably shoot that up one more. Yeah, there you go. So, obviously, first things first, got a free sticker with it. It's really cool. I think that's a sticker. Is it a sticker? Yeah, it's a sticker. So, I got a free sticker with my order, which I really like. I'll put it somewhere. And obviously, their new card, which I actually. I, go, I should have their old card somewhere around here. It may still be in my in my wallet. Um, I do have their old X39 card back from when he was X39 Brick Customs. Um, it may still be in my wallet. Let me look. Never mind. It's not in my wallet. Okay, it's not in my wallet. But I have I have it somewhere. But I do have the old. That are the new one now. So I ordered quite a bit of stuff here. So we'll kind of just get the stuff back, move to the back, and we'll start with the helmets. Let me get the M1s out first. Okay, so I ordered two regular steel M1 helmets. So you boom, they're just basic here. Your basic, you know, steel M1. Looks, it's a pretty faithful representation of the M1. Like I even got even if you can see it. I don't know if you can. If you go to the website, they even have the helmet strap up over the top, just like I have here on my actual helmet. If you watched my channel, I do own a real M1 helmet from post World War II. If I can fix it, there. I do actually own a real M1, so it's a fairly faithful representation. And you have your helmet, your strap there up on top of the helmet, but that's how these ones, that's how they're made. So they are really, really nice little helmets. Um, and then I did get another M1, but this M1 is a Chaplin M1, which is really cool. I like the little Chaplin symbol on it, it's really cool. And I did get, let me look, find my regular ones real quick. Okay, I got five regular. Uh, stall helms plus one medic stall helm so I got that medic symbol on the top of it and then over here in terms of weapons let me screw it out I do get I did get two M1 Grands right here two M1 Grands M1 Grande um, let me set this stuff up over here so it looks nice on camera That's pretty cool, and then the M1s are gonna go right there. Chaplin. Uh, okay. Then M1s right there. And I did get the. Uh, I can take all of them out. Everything I got, I did. Get it out all of them. It's ten. Yeah, I should have ten of them. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did get 10 DC-15 blasters, the regular DC-15s, um, so yeah, just the regular versions of them for my Clone Wars, because I want to do another Star Wars mock sometime, so, yeah, I did get that, and let me finish putting these down real quick, boom, boom, 10 DC-15s. Then, obviously, I got an, uh, the tin of the DC-15. Like, this, like, this is like the DC-15S or something. I don't know exactly, but it's the long blaster version. I did get one of their packs. And if you do order them online, the DC-15s, or the D, both of the versions, um, they do come in the A5 pack. So, you get them. You get five of them for, or no, they come in the tin pack. You get ten of them for five bucks. 
you can't order them. If you only need one, you can't order just one of them. You have to order the, uh, the tin thing of them. Which for five bucks, it's a pretty good little deal. It's 50 cents. I mean, it's 50 cents a blaster. Um, three M16s. So we'll add these just down here at the bottom. And five AK-47s, which the AKs look really good in my opinion. The AKs look fabulous. They just they look a lot better than Brick Mania weapons or Brick Mania AKs. And that's all the weapons and stuff I got. Then finally, right here I got the 20 random helmets. So let me pick this up. Here, shoot that broke. this out 20 random helmets you get uh, five five m1s five stall helms five brody helmets and five t90s or whatever the japanese ones are and look at that those are really nice Ooh. oh those brody helmets look so good mm, i like these brodies these brodies look really really good that's four it's the fifth one this is the fifth one so you get i got this one i got three uh, gunmetal ones, or olive drab ones, one white one, and one olive green Brody helmet. And then, oh, let me put these over here. Boom, they're all my Brodies. Um, then you get some Japanese helmets, which I got. That's American, that's German, those are Japanese right there. That's Japanese. Did I get, I didn't get one of those colors in them. That's Japanese and that's Japanese. Okay, so I got four gunmetal or the olive drab ones. No, no, two olive drabs, two gunmetals, and one white. So that'll be good for my, obviously my, uh, like the two Japanese soldiers I have. I just got to get some more Japanese weaponry. Um, and then obviously the rest of these stall helms. I got five stall helms. Get three olive drab or all these dark. And then the olive, is olive drab. No, two olive drabs, one gunmetal, and three just regular olive colors. Let me set these up over here. Then M1s, we get five M1s. Ooh, I like these ones. The M1s have the most amount of color. The M1s, you get, I got one gunmetal, one tan. Or one dark tan, one light tan, one olive, and one white. So, yeah. So that's... So let me move this back over here. I just say I have all my World War II figures here because I just... I somewhat took apart my mock. So, yeah. Um, that go in there enough to where it'll go down enough. Oh, unfortunately. Well, we'll just put these in ones back here in the back. But it doesn't matter if you see them or not. Yeah. See, so yeah, I gotta say, this is pretty successful. 50 bucks right here for all of this stuff. Everything you see right here. But yeah, I think it's a pretty good little haul here. So yeah, I hope y'all did enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.